Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I am Brett Kai Vectra and I would like to welcome you to the runway. Today we have the pleasure of viewing the Chanel Okator Spring Summer 2023 show. Now I've never viewed this show. I'm a little bit under the weather. Um, been smelling some of my Chanel fragrances, but because I feel like I'm about to sneeze every five seconds, it's not the best to do that. So I figured let's get back to doing what I love to do. Viewing great design. Let's start with some old Chanel that we haven't seen. Now, right out of the gate, I see this set with a lot of paper or wood, huge props. Um, and it's interesting how they're showing them, rolling them out. Um, and being pushed out. And it almost, I get like this Trojan horse uh, imagery right off the bat. So we, it'll be interesting to see what we're gonna get from this collection. Oh, coming right out of a prop. We have a kind of a magician's hat, top hat. Gold boots here. The best thing since sliced Beautiful white. Sequenced tweed there. Really nice mini skirts. Mini dresses coming out of the gate. Like her black shoes. Again, double breasted dress. The flooring is industrial. The roofing is, in, the ceiling is industrial as well. Love the bow tie, top of the neck, it's cute. Again, very girly, kind of prissy, light looks. Again, spring, summer. Again, please bear with me, feeling under the weather. Show must go on. I like the little magic hats. <laughs> the top hats. They're, they're cute. Ooh, really love this colorful tweed right here. Beautiful, beautiful color palette. Now, Chanel likes to keep their accessories like their headbands, their bows, or their hats here. Generally the same color. At most, like black or white iterations of both. Ooh, white gloves here. And white. Neck bow tie. Love the boots here. That's very cute. My sister loves to wear boots all year round. Uh, white boots are definitely appropriate all year round. Ooh, really like the pockets here. Now again, this is a Virginia Yard collection. Her tenure just ended with Chanel, five years of Chanel, I believe from 2019 to this year in 2024. So this is her second to last year. And again, she pretty much stayed on brand with the house codes. Prissy, elegant, pretty clothes. Three quarter sleeves here. Show you more of the glove. Really nice. Like this peach. I don't like these these gold boots styled with this, but I love this pink skirt and jacket there.
beautiful beautiful oh look at the buttons there colorful crystals on each one lavender look the opera length gloves now these gloves don't fit as tight as you'd normally see opera gloves but they appear to be I think they're leather gloves here I have to see Now the records that we're listening to, uh, it's an assortment. Um, I'm a music producer, as I've said before. Um, and these are some of the remixes I've done. This is a Birds of a Feather, uh, Billie Eilish remix, instrumental. Um, I'll put the links down everything below. Ooh, love this gorgeous coat. Look at the, the floral embellishments on the pocket. I know Chanel is big on the camellia flower. And florals have always been really tied to the Chanel brand from Chanel number five to number 22. Oh, this is a dark look. Really cute. I like how they're coming out of these props. Didn't expect that at all. Ooh, this is a gorgeous look. Really nice cape. And just her posture with her hands. She gracefully walks. I like that. Uh oh. And what I find amazing is when do they know when they're supposed to come out? Each model. That's that's amazing. Are they wearing like little pagers? They kind of they page like okay. You're supposed to come out now. The coordination of these shows is is amazing for some of them. Because some of them, it's just typical walk out. Walk out in line, That's one after the other. But sometimes when they do these elaborate setups, timing is key. You only get one shot. Ooh. Look at the sheer look. Top of that mini dress. And we're getting a little fussy. A lot of layering here. And we're going kind of like full Willy Wonka, I would say. With some of those looks. Ooh, the textures. Nice there though. And again, this is the um, Espresso Sabrina Carpenter record remix that I did. Wanted to make like a dreamland iteration of it. High stepping in the white boots again, which I love. Um, and I've seen this, we've seen in the, these type of boots with these caps, the toe caps. Um, I know they did a baby blue iteration, I believe in a spring summer um 24 ready to wear show i believe um also in the oka tour well in the ready ready to wear fall show they did it as well spring summer 24 oka tour was ballet core lots of um flats and it was i think it was like these black patent leather um like short heel shoes
dark, opulent lace. Maxi with a high neckline. Oh, that's cute. What do you guys think about the bow ties? They definitely give a masculine kind of finish to some of these looks. Because Chanel really stays feminine for the most part. Um, but that bow tie, if they are playing with gender roles, gender codes, Oh, let me see that white look again, the white bow tie. Oh, here we go, with the pedals. Beautiful coat, beautiful coat. I wish they had different shoes for it, but like, this is a gorgeous coat. At least put the white boots on. That's a gorgeous coat. Again, this is the please, please, please Sabrina record, Sabrina Carpenter record remix that I just did. Oh, here's the big one. I wonder how long these props took to make. Probably just as long as the collection. Oh, here's the wedding gown. Short, one of the, the simpler ones. Got the veil and the train all the same length. Really pretty bird patterns on it. Get yeah, really thin fabric that you're dealing with. Super thin. Silk chiffon, I assume, on the veil. And let's see everything one, one more time. Yeah, I love the white look, especially out of the gate. First one, love the black shoes. And the loafers that she's wearing. Looks like it. Yeah, love the loafers. Get in the gold boots there. Kind of touching on the double-breasted gold buttons. There's a dog pattern. Did you see that on that tweed? Again, very ladylike and definitely does stay on theme with the old, uh, you know, Jersey, um, you know, kind of fit. See the Jersey. Used on some of the looks here. That that coat is gorgeous. With just the florals just all over. Beautiful. And there's Miss Virginia Viard. No idea who she's holding hands with. Maybe her husband. Maybe a no idea. Let me know in the comment section below. I don't want to assume. Okay, so let's go back and take a look. Again, Spring Summer Okator Show, I mean, excuse me, uh, Spring Summer Okator Show 2023, Xavier Vale Han. Doing the props and even the light fixtures. These kind of pancake. Okay, first out of the gate. Love this look. Love this look. Double breasted. High collar. Really nice. Aggressive kind of front slit on it. And a mini dress out front. Yeah, this is a really good look. The gate. The centerpiece of the bodice here, matching the lower thirds. The sleeves, it's really opulent. Gold trimming, 
Now, again, there really was no black on this garment. Um, you know, that's the thing about the Chanel shows, uh, especially, I would say, under Virginia Yard. They like to use a lot of the same colored um, accessories and hats, bow ties, whatever it is, ties, headbands. Uh, and sometimes they don't really match, you know, and, you know, you wish they wouldn't do that. Uh, here, you, again, you have that dog. <laughs> Looks like the Dogecoin. Uh, <laughs> like, I uh, forgot the name of the dog. Something, cuh. I think the dog starts with an A. The breed starts with an A. Can't remember. Um, it's again, cute look. Oh, this was one of the best ones. I like this blue, pink combo really nice kind of blue raspberry palette there with the white that works and the white bow tie i wasn't mad at that there again this looked really nice double breasted love the collar jacket very nice skirt is beautiful thick textured pleated Interesting Oreo kind of centerpiece there. Yeah, these are leather gloves. So that's why a little more ruffled. Matching the leather of the boots, though I'm not mad. Because if you went really thin on the on the gloves, it wouldn't match the uh, the boots because you you'd probably get you start seeing the skin and you could have done chiffon or anything like that, but I'm not mad at the leather gloves, cause these fabrics, these, you know, these tweed suits, these tweed dresses that they're showing. I've never felt one, but just by the look of it, they look to be, you know, really sturdy, thick. See the wool. Look at the buttons here. I saw those on the first pass. Really nice color touch. This is cute for spring, summer. I overlooked this one first go around. I like the yellow buttons on the back closure. This was really cute. Nice lace maxi. I don't know what shoes she was wearing. Can't really see. Can only see the sole, but really nice. This, this coat right here was gorgeous. And those are the pockets. But it would have been just as nice if the sleeves had um, that floral touch to them. Yeah, those boots, man. Like, sometimes you wish they, they wouldn't have used those gold ones when they used them. Um, I'm going to be honest. That shade of gold, <clears throat> those gold boots, I'm not a big fan of them. You know what they remind me of? And you guys may have never heard of these or seen these, but... Uh, there's a black fraternity. Um, they go by the Q's. I, I don't even know what the name is. But, like, they wear these gold boots. These spray-painted gold boots. They do these, like... I'm not even, you know. Like, but it's just... And it, that's what it reminds me of. And that's just, like, not what you, do, you want the association to be with this type of clothing. <laughs> Like, I might put up a picture, I might not, you know, like, of, of what I'm talking about. You might want to do your own research, but that's what it reminds me of. And it's just, if you're, if you're black, African American, or whatnot, you, you'll know what I'm talking about. And it's just, uh, you know, that's just not, like, that's just not what we're doing here. And so, like, I don't know. This is beautiful. Love the mules. Appears to be a halter neck, ruffled halter neck. That's really cute. And then this black cape. They could have put a hat on this one. This is magician. This is magician. Like, you know, <laughs> if you're going to do the magician vibe, 
Give her a top hat uh, here because she has a beautiful cape. Um, anything else that I really liked? Ooh, this was cute. That was cute. That was really cute. Crystallized patterns on like a chiffon. Like, let me see. Yeah. Appears to be a chiffon. Maybe a jersey. Probably a jersey. But you can see it's kind of got a see through vibe. Maybe a chiffon's underneath. Jersey atop, with the embellishments on there. So many different types of jerseys though. I liked this skirt. I like this look. Again, I didn't like the gold boots with it though. Why? I didn't like the gold boots with it though. Oh, this was the one though that took the cake. I mean, this is just beautiful. This is Snow Queen. And you hear me say this like from time to time when there's a beautiful opulent white, typically like evening gown or a long uh, maxi or long coat. Stunning. Yeah, and then there's the wedding gown. I already told you guys, um, and we might go back and view that show again. The last show, the uh, Okator Fall Winter. Um, that Miss Virginia VR was not credited for, uh, or she wasn't there at least to kind of, to kind of um, present the show. But look at this! <laughs> look at the side view. Beautiful. That's a stunning. See, and Chanel will do stuff like this. Chanel will really give you something like this. Like, you know, most of the time they'll give you these prissy more simple easy to wear looks but when they want to go opulent like that, that i think of number 22 when i see something like this it's just it, it's just it's just like this gorgeous shade of white the textures of the white some beige in there oh stunning coat man but the wrong boots man wrong boots let me know what you guys think of the collection again um please let me know what do you guys think um I, again i think there's a lot to like here but there are also some things that um you know you can question but you know, everybody's got their own taste that's the beauty about art uh, and interpreting it um so again thank you very much if you're still watching um Please hit the like button if you will. Leave a comment. Again, tell me what you think about the show. Uh, Virginia Villard's work, her design, style. Uh, Chanel, where would you like to see them go from here? Um, anything. Do you like the Chanel fragrances? Um, let me know. And so, yeah, really appreciate you guys. Again, learning a lot about fashion. Um, just being able to tie a lot of um, things in together. Fragrance, music, fashion art a lot of different things so you never know what references you'll hear here uh, on the break Eye vector channel again thank you very much for watching i love you guys appreciate you guys um and uh yeah we'll be back very soon with some more content again you don't want to miss it you do not want to miss it so until next time have a great day